sexy. Mm. <laughs> I've got a day off work and I bloody woke up earlier than I do when I go to work. It's always the way, isn't it? I was thinking about what it is I'm going to do today. Started thinking about that tip room to the gym today. I'll do this today. Oh, and then selfies. So yeah, it was just all in my head. So I was like, fucking hell, just may as well just wake up. <laughs> I'm on a mission. Cancelling my selfies. <laughs> Makes me sad. But it's also going to lift a lot of anxiety I'm getting stressed with the money I'm paying out for a company that I can't afford <laughs> my heart and soul's not in it anymore it's not something that I see me doing in the near future I always seem to record myself when I'm feeling shit I never really record my progress when I'm actually feeling happy and I'm okay but it is that thing of well humans we love to hear negativity and we actually prefer to watch people suffering. It's quite sad, isn't it? I guess it's the same with when you're feeling negative, you naturally become more focused on the negativity that you're feeling. But when you're feeling happy, you don't really think about it. You just get on with life and you don't, you don't really um, give it the attention it needs. You don't celebrate it. Um, you don't praise yourself for coming out of a dark time. Um, and it's quite sad, really. It's like with celebrities. When celebrities used to go off the rails, us humans loved seeing people suffer and ruin their careers. If someone's doing well, we don't, as humans, really celebrate that. Um, it's quite sad. But yeah, I feel like, I know that's a bit extreme, but I feel like I do that with my video diaries I put more focus into listening to my thoughts when I'm negative rather than I do when I'm happy <laughs> or when I'm positive so I am actually feeling way more positive now I was slightly a uh, slightly manic as in high manic um one weekend when I had um, a weekend with my family I was just so excited and I could feel this adrenaline in my body and I just wanted to fucking pow, 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 come out. And I was consciously wanting to just chill myself out because it was the beginning of the night and the party hadn't even started. And I was like, fucking yes. <laughs> One thing that like I remember and really touched my soul, it was when everyone was arriving at the, at the parties. I was quite, I was getting quite drunk. And I said to my sister, I was like, oh my God. I was like, I'm drunk already. Oh, and she's like, that's okay. And I was like, yeah, but I'm starting to feel self-conscious about it because no one else is drunk. And she just held my hands and she was like, you're in a safe space. And just smiled. And I was like, fucking yeah, you're right. Woo! <laughs> and that was it. Got even more drunk. <laughs> that was a really good weekend. And just in general, just like at work, after work, been feeling more confident in myself. I get that feeling of, yes, I'm going to be the best in my band. I'm going to be good at my job. I am good at my job. I'm feeling comfortable in the way I look. Just feeling good. Just feeling good. I was going to go to the gym, but can I feel fucked? No, I can't. Anyway, I don't know. I'm babbling. Goodbye. Oh, I just sent the email to all the members. Oh! My heart's going. <sighs> Stomach's just dropped. And I'm trying to think why I was so passionate about this matchmaking service. I believe in it. I believe in the service itself. I just need someone else to do it. <laughs> and I think in today's world, a lot of people have got very high standards. I can't relate to that. Like, I'm, I'm very much a pansexual I think you can just fall in love with anyone just feel that if you start making big tick lists you're already screwing yourself up with the chance of finding love I think you've just got to be really open remember your morals and your boundaries and what you believe in and what you are attracted to in a person think about why you love your best friend why you love your mum and dad why you love someone who's very close to you why do you love them what qualities do they have that you like go and find that in a partner 
it helps if you're sexually attracted to them. But fuck me, it's not the be all and end all at all. At all. Because you're going to be with that person and that sex spark, it will disappear. Of course it will. And you are always going to fancy other people. That's just human nature. But if you can find someone that you really connect with and who just really like speaks to your soul and you just want to be with them because they make you feel comfortable, they make you feel safe, then be with them forever. That's all that it takes. I know that past Sophie will be proud of me that I tried it. I've absolutely established, but I don't like letting people down. <laughs> I didn't think I was one of those people, but I think I am. Like with the whole like soul freeze thing, I didn't want to let my members down. With the whole being shit at singing, I didn't want to let my band down. That was a deep feeling that I had. I mean, it's funny actually, because I've just come back from my sister's. A theme came up. You need to look out for yourself. Even if it does mean letting people down, you've got to look out for yourself. You've got to tune in with yourself again and think, what is important to me? Is Dolphies important to me? No. Is singing important to me? Absolutely yes. And I do not want to let my band members down, but I don't want to let myself down as well. Um, but yeah, theme of the day. Look out for yourself. Woo! I'm up to 38 seconds on my breathing exercise. Fucking yes, man. Okay, let's check out my song. I'd like to have a few weeks break from a song, come back to it, and listen to it with a fresh pair of ears and see if it's shit or not, basically. <laughs> I've been really focusing on this song that I've been writing for the last few months and Bloody Logic Pro had a little glitch and a bug and it deleted some of the files and I was so fucking stressed. Been stressing out literally the last half an hour or so I've been trying to Google intensely how to fucking fix it. I'm gonna cry. Has it done it? Mummy. So today I was like really hyper and just excited that it was Saturday, ready to start, like just get on with my day. Yeah, and then Jay said, said something that really triggered me, <laughs> got me in a bad mood. They made a comment about how I'm not going out as much in, in my hometown anymore. It pissed me off because he knows why. There are just too many people who, in my books, who make me feel uncomfortable. I don't want to be, I don't want to put myself in situations where I'm uncomfortable, basically. It's like saying that I've, that, I don't know, I'm trying to explain it. Um, so in order for those things to not happen again, you have to give up scrambled egg. In my mind, that's fine, because scrambled egg has no meaning to me. I can live without scrambled egg. And it's like, that's, it's the same situation with going out in my hometown. It has no meaning to me anymore, so I'm, I'm quite happy to not go out. <laughs> it's not holding me back. It's absolutely not holding me back. But I do feel maybe... Well, is it holding Joe back? I don't know, because he doesn't tell me. It just annoyed me that he made that comment, and I had to remind him again of why I'm not going out. I was like... So, and I said to him, I was like, look, if you want me to come out as your wife to certain nights out with certain groups of friends let's do it and I was like let's go to a nice pub in a nice village or go to Leicester or let's arrange it I'm quite happy to go out with your friends some of them <laughs> he, he won't do it though so then I think well you must not give a shit that much 
you know, they're not my friends. They're not my priority. And if they are your priority and you want us to go out as a couple, then yeah, I'll do it. It's just pissing me off a little bit at the moment. I had a massive bitch about Jay to myself. <laughs> and there are some things I just cannot publish and there's no need to publish. They're personal stuff. Oh, it's just fucking pissing me off. <laughs> and it, it's just now made me think of stuff from the past. I just think I don't want to think of shit like that. I don't, I've already told Jay why I have chosen to direct my life on another path. Oh, yeah, anyway, so that left me feeling a bit flat. I was enjoying my positive vibes and everything, and then, I don't know, just one little comment from Jay just reminded me of shit from the past, and it's annoying me because it's on my mind now. Looking back, I think the main reason why I was pissed off, I have my valid reasons of why I'm deciding to not do something, and I just feel like it wasn't being respected and I wasn't being listened to. We both have different viewpoints of certain things, and that's going to be hard to handle. So me and my good for the soul friend, we went for a walk, and because she thinks so similarly to me, she absolutely understands my point of view. And it isn't a case of who's right or wrong. I just like to bounce off someone who understands. Typical beautiful skies now. Oh, for fuck's sake. So over the weekend, I naturally woke up at like six in the morning. But now that it's Monday, I just don't want to wake up. Luckily, I'm starting work late today. Um, it's eight o'clock. I, I could have slept on forever. And I went to sleep at about half nine. Why is that? When it's when you have to actually get up early, you don't. Your body doesn't want it, and then when you don't have to get up, your body's not. You know, your body will get up. I'm <laughs> trying to get that good balance of listening to my body, but also trying to get my body to snap out something so I don't fall into a lull. And just going for a walk helps me every time. So it's a week or six days until my period, and already. My brain fog is coming more and more on. <laughs> I'm craving chocolate. I really want to eat an Easter egg in particular. Like, I want to gorge at the moment on chocolate. Uh, what I've noticed as well is my brain is starting, just very slightly starting to... Um, uh, um, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> brain fog! <laughs> pick on things that I'm not doing so things like you haven't gone to the gym you need to go to the gym you need to do a run you need to go outside more you need to do music you need to rehearse you need to learn that song you need to do your breathing it my brain's starting to do that ever so slightly and very quietly and I'm trying to just push them aside and like just think fucking shut up I have done so much recently in the past three weeks Got really far with my producing. I've been doing really well with my breathing exercises and practicing. Um, all right, with <laughs> with the gym and exercising, my body. I haven't done very well, but I haven't really cared, kind of thing. Like, hasn't been my main focus. Um, but now my brain is starting to tell me, but you need to do it. You need to go to the gym. You need to do this. You need to do more. <sighs> so it's fucking annoying. Um, so I'll be really interested to see how I'm feeling by Friday or by the weekend. I wonder if I will start spiralling again. So yeah, so that's what I'm going through at the moment. And luckily, I will be off my period on Christmas Day. Thank fuck. I'll probably be going through my ovulating time and feeling horny. <laughs> so... Jay, you better watch out. <laughs> I just can't seem to wake up this week. I'm just so tired. Although me and Jay woke up at half four. And I thought, oh, this is me awake now. No, I went back to sleep and then I just kept snoozing my alarm. It's half seven and I start work at eight. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Well, that's the beauty of working from home though, I guess. I'm going to get a shower at lunchtime. I'm going to be a little grot bag today. <laughs> I'm going to change my pants at least though. <laughs>
That's the least I could do today. <sighs> oh, these could be, could be the thing that's been on my list for fucking months. Get an Irish passport. <laughs> Fuck you, Brexit. Just had a shower. <laughs> I fucking cravings are through the roof today. Oh, I was going to try and be good today and eat as little as possible because yesterday I fucking picked out massively and then I had that guilt of oh god I shouldn't have eaten that and then I just kept thinking my head starts planning out a diet and an exercise regime and <laughs> and then I never start it um, so yeah today I was like right let's just have a smoothie for breakfast um, a protein shake for lunch but no I want cheese on toast <laughs> Looking back, I think I'd go through it a week before my period. Oh, my body's like, fucking oh, give me food. But saying that, I'm sure it was only a week or two ago <laughs> that I had this feeling. I just get hungry and just want to eat everything. Oh, farted. <laughs> so annoying because like, I've been like this all my life and I do feel it is that heavy influence that society has had on women on you've got to look good, you've got to be a certain size. Um, it's it's still a thing, got to look a certain way. But yeah, it gets on my nerves. I wish I could just be happy in my body, whether I'm fat or not. <laughs> but in all honesty, I'm not happy. Sometimes I don't care, <laughs> but I don't think I haven't been happy with my body in a long time. I think the last time I was happy with my body was... Well, <laughs> apart from when I ran the marathon, let's not include that. Um, probably when I was 27. Was like 10 years ago. Fortunately, that's that whole thing of looking good because I'm a woman, that still is a hang-up with me. I'd love to grow out of that phase. Because <laughs> I can't be fucked with it. I really can't. And I do believe the older I'm getting, I can see that there will come a point where I won't care. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> but when I see my mum, she she still cares and she's bloody in her 70s. And I think, I hope I'm not like that. Like, I want to get to my fucking 50s and not give a shit. Um, I think because it's so ingrained in my mum's head. And obviously she's from a completely different generation to me so I think for her it was even more prominent that you had to look good for your man your man's coming home from work you better look good girl yeah I find it quite sad <laughs> that she's 70 and she's still like oh I look fat I look chubby I need to go on a diet I'm like what for <laughs> like, you're in your 70s this is the time to start eating whatever the fuck you want fuck it just do what you want Hmm, I should probably be taking my own advice on that. <laughs> well, thank you for watching my video diary. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and Great New Year. And I'll see you next time. Bye!